Hi, and welcome to another edition of Organs of Super with me, David Cooper. Okay, so today I've got a Ringway RS800. Some of you may have got the lower models. There's RS for uh, 400, 480, 600, 620, 760. Uh, but this is the RS800, and what they've done is they've made it very black and white, literally. You've got a black case, black bench, black pedals. It all looks very, very smart. And we're finding now that all the piano manufacturers are going from wooden finishes to black and white. It fits with any furniture, that's the beauty. I'm gonna kind of match it in. It just will work with um, any furniture because it's very neutral, isn't it? So this is the RS800. Uh, there is a model above, there's a couple of models above it. There's an A2000 and there's also a, a wooden cabinet version called the Maestro. But this is effectively very similar to those models. It doesn't have a few of the features that they've added on, but this is a, a very versatile instrument. And being so modern, and up to date and current, it means that the rhythms are very up to date. Um, it's got a very good screen to operate, a bit like a Tyros. You've got the, the 16 buttons at the bottom with two rows, and you've got the rows down the side to choose from. So it's, it's very familiar to understand. And you've got all these presets. You've got 16 presets uh, that you can have stored in and available to use at once. But there's four batches of these 16 that come with it. So 64 built-in registrations, and that's what makes it so easy to use. Now, the other things that you'll find is there's lots of very easy ways to adjust the sound or adjust the rhythm just from going into a screen when you press the sound button the second time. So come in, I'll show you. So if we go to this um, flute sound that's currently on, but flute two is in the lead one section, I can press it and it goes into the other pages. So we've got, um, in this case, only one. But if we went into the trumpet page, we've got page one with one, two, three, four, five, six, eight sounds. They include trombones as well, but I can also go to page down and go to another six more trumpet style sounds. Um, if I press the button again up here, I then go on to the things I can edit about the sound. I've got attack, decay, sustain, um, transpose, tune. Uh, the attack, decay, uh, release all allow you to um, adjust the tone and make a, a, like a user version. You can make it a little bit more to what you like about the sound. You can make it more bright or more boppy or slow down as it, as it comes out. Change the vibrato. Let's go to the next page. Uh, we've got volume, brilliance. We've got uh, the footage. So this footage is a clever little thing here. This is where we can change the octave in one of five octaves. So we've got our trumpet sound. <laughs> like something about that sound so we press the button again and we go into the edit section and that means we can take down the resonance we can take down the reverb but if we go to this button here which is called um, feet a bit like the footage on a pipe on a, a pipe organ we can make it go down an octave <laughs> sound to the octave that we want it to be in for wherever we're playing on the keyboard. It might be you want to bring it down or up, but it allows us to change that whole pitch by one of five octaves. So a really good facility. And we've got other things we can adjust in here. The echo, the amount of reverb, we can change uh, which speaker the sound's coming out of, how sensitive you want it to be on that sound. And uh, we've also got things like the split mode, which keys do you want it to be working for? So you can get deep into it, a little bit like a Tyros or a PA3 or 4 or 5X if you wanted to, or Genos, because you've got all those things to adjust. But I'm going to use it today mainly with just these presets, because it's so easy just to get a quick, fully made sound that works really well. So let's go to uh, button D, and I've got a sound down here. Number five is this amazing trumpet. <laughs> Sound. 
solo one note um, voice instruments, solo instruments, can be brought to the um, top area of the bottom keyboard. So we've got a button on these saying to lower. And if I change it to lower, then the sound will be up here as far down as I want it to be. So we can really bring in sounds to where we want them on the keyboard. Found a great sound on here for um, a song called Your Latest Trick by Dire Straits. And it's got the really good sort of solo trumpet at the beginning. <laughs> for just really good setup. Now we can use any of these voices um, and we can decide which one you want to be available on the button. So if I go to this lead voice, all the others are turned off. They're all at their lowest volume. So nothing's gonna come out of any of the others. But in the lead voice section, we've got violin. <laughs> Sound, but if we press that button, we can see there's a whole selection. So I have uh, viola, cello, and if I go to some of the other ones, we've got um, things like flute section is going to give us piccolo. Nice flute sound. Flute. That's nice. Uh, if we go down to here, we've got oboe. Now, the oboes, um, someone's moved this on to an oboe. Trumpet section, then we've got the trumpets, trombone. Now we might think, oh, I want the, low, um, the octave lower, so if we press the trombone button and then we go to the um, page with it on, which is here, we can now say, right, I want a lower sound. <laughs> stay with that sound so you can use it at the right pitch that you've got in your head whenever you want to come back to it. Now if we want to go into um, the, the sounds that you can play chords with, these are mono sounds, they just play one note at a time. So we'll turn that back down again and we'll go into the main section which is the upper voices. We've got uh, pianos. <laughs> a lot of reverb is set on this instrument we can turn that down so I can turn it down here and that will bring the hole down we've got different types of reverb 
reverb. So I'm on hall at the moment, like I'm in a big hall, I can take that down to room. Okay, now let's go to some other sounds, organ sounds, very important. Percussive. of organs that we can go into. So if we're on the organ page, we've got draw bars, we've got church organ. Real deep bass sound, number two. Go to the next page, then we've got uh, theatre organs. section so along here we've got a lot of drum backings and they're very very powerful because it's again a modern up-to-date instrument so if we go to one of the backings let's go to uh, the ballroom section we can choose we've got a cha-cha at the moment set up so if I put on my automatic pedals and then when I play my chord now let's put the intro on intro. <laughs> have changed so much in the last 30 years. I mean, the things like the presets that set it all up for you, they weren't around 30 years ago. So you had tabs that you had to select the sounds that you wanted and, and remember which combination of how many clicks of the buttons you did. So the, the digital organs are much, much more powerful, but also this way that you can just put a setting in and all the lights change when you um, go to a different button means that it remembers exactly the way that you had it last time. And that's so, so, so useful. just watched a great movie yesterday. It's um, a great film about a guy who um, seems to be the only one who knows about the Beatles songs and um, really good, exciting, good to watch film. Feel good factor, fab.
Well, that's a good question. Um, I think you don't worry because you, you, you find your way in life, don't you? When, you? when you're much younger, you're a bit naive to everything. But um, when you uh, grow up, you kind of find your own confidence in things. Okay, so if you have your own organ to part exchange, we'll take it, that's no problem. We always take um, part exchanges, give you a good allowance for it, and collect it at the same time that we deliver the new one to you. If you've got an organ that's a little bit older now, uh, we would still consider taking it off your hands. Um, the earlier ones now, obviously, are so different to these up-to-date ones, and some of them are a little bit more difficult to put a warranty on. But essentially, yeah, we'll take a part exchange, look after you, and do it as a seamless swap over. Oh, well, my dad started off with a um, two keyboard Yamaha B, I think it was a B4CR, which was a really ancient one. Uh, and then we moved it to a um, B75 Yamaha and then to a D65, which was a great top of the range instrument. There's only one above it, which had the wobbly keys, the D85. And then um, since then I had an E66 Technics myself in my own house, uh, but, but working in the mix them all the time, kind of don't need an organ at home because I can play on any of them, I'm very lucky. So a really very powerful instrument, really big, full sound, some great rhythms to choose from, really good solo instruments, and these presets that make it very easy just to get a good setting. And um, when we sell one of these, we offer part exchanges. You can um, swap your other one in and we'll give you a good allowance for it. We'll come out to your house, set it all up. Jamie Halliday and his gang will be coming and delivering it to you and, and making sure it's in the right room for you and um, we'll look after you. If you've got questions afterwards, we're always around to, to help you suss out a feature you want to learn about. So we're there to give you good support. Hope you found that useful. This is the Ringway RS800. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with more Organs of Super with me, David Cooper.